Hi, you are now watching the Otop series on every Monday morning. And pay attention, there is no other media group like Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp or WeChat that will share this market opinion. This valuable market opinion is only shared on every Monday morning in Otop, only right here in YouTube. And this market opinion is going to help you do a wonderful stock pick after you do your homework. Stay tuned and I shall be right back. This is the Otop series, one target, one purpose, coming back again on a Monday morning, 9 a.m. And this is the Otop 139 for the week 17 April year 2023. And wait, hold on. If you had followed us on last week, Otop 138, congratulations because your portfolio would have risen 20%. All right, 20% just over one week, which is five market days. Stay tuned with us. We're going to do a small revision on what we recommended last week on our market opinions. Before we head on to this week, Otop 139. Right. There's a deal the equity time and once again welcome back to this monday morning 9 a.m series and before we start off today a quick revision and run through on last friday well on last friday market in the dow jones benchmark closed down okay dow jones lost 143 points closing price 33,886 as you can see here well, S&P 500 lost 8 points closing price 4137 while the nasdaq composite index Slid for the two points, closing price 12,123. Well, there's no big news there in the market last week, but the uh, fear of the banking crisis as well as the commercial real estate actually has swept across the America as well as the European market. Well, so looks like, um, well, the uh, rising interest rate has caused a lot of worries okay and traders are still expecting another rate hike on the first week of may which is just three weeks from now and that will actually put a lot of pressure on the stock indexes which is the reason why friday the stock indexes came off well um other than the stock indexes another one thing we should be looking at is the gold prices All right on friday there was a big fall about 37 dollars uh, loss within a day and the spot gold prices closed at 2017 okay and the silver prices also closed lower at a price of $25.46 and the WTI crude maintained pretty firm but not that strong at $82 per barrel and traders are still wondering if it could go higher if not this week we should be saying that WTI crude coming down well and the uh let me take a look on the uh, US dollar index if you can see anything here. Well, on the Euro currency, all right, Euro currency uh, closed at a price of 1.10, okay, on Friday. And uh, we're expecting the Euros to be a little bit weakening on this week. Right, for on the week 17 April 2023 as dollar regains its strength. Well, let's take a look on last Friday. And last week, okay, on a small revision that we mentioned in 1665 on last week, we'll talk 138. Well, if you would have uh, gotten in anywhere on last Friday market opening here okay at 85 cents closing price on friday is $1.02 and if you are holding this portfolio continue to hold it well because we are looking at probably a little bit more row on the top side it might even go up to 110 before the profit sharing comes in so congratulations again for those people who had uh, bought Panther Master in hong kong well this week in the O top 139, all right, 139 for the week 17 April year 2023. What are we looking at? Stay tuned, and we are coming back very quickly to tell you what could be a good bet on our market opinions this week. Well, first of all, let us uh, take a look at the Dow Jones index. All right, Dow Jones index, as you can see here, market has been going up pretty gradually, slowly, but very topish. And Friday, there was a uh, uh, fall in the market price and the uh, the uh, rate hike in the early May 
is already beginning to press onto the market and we are expecting the Dow Jones index to start falling or at least be weakening all right in this two weeks moving to the end april so looking at this chart here on the dow jones we are pretty optimistic well i was optimistic we are we favored more on to shorting the dow jones and hence what we are going to expect um, in the next two weeks is a fall in the dow jones prices and hence and that's why we are looking at an inverse ETF, which we had mentioned before in the past. So go into the uh, New York Stock Exchange, look for this ETF called the uh, SDAO, the SDOW. This is an index where you buy the bottom. You are actually hoping the index to go up, the ETF to go up, but that actually equates to the Dow Jones falling. All right, this is an inverse ETF. So this is what we are talking about in uh, OTOP 139 this week, 17 April year 2023. If you are having some free cash, or right, after you sell off the Pentamaster, this is something you can consider this week because it is near to the bottom at about $25 per share. Right, the S now is a good bet. Looking at a four hours chart, okay. Well, I would just say that $25 is just a good price to go in and don't have to wait for too much falling right once it cross above 26 here on the uh, exponential moving average 20 average lines it should be going up so this week as now is in our favor all right let's take a look at the weekly chart time scale nothing much but except the op the the momentum is pretty flat at the bottom and it could be going up anytime well on the day chart itself again Focus and continue to observe the S down this week. All right, and this is for the O top one three nine. You less, you spend less than ten minutes with us on every Monday morning nine a.m. and get a quick good tips. Well, we wish you well and better profits. Come back to us next week. Bye bye.